and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the bright side of health. In today's video, let's discuss about facial paralysis or as Bell's palsy in kids. Friends, unlike adults, kids are not spared by this problem. Facial paralysis can happen to a newborn baby, to a toddler, to a small kid, to a teenager. And that's why this becomes a frustrating problem for parents. But it's not just a straightforward problem. Facial paralysis in kids, orals and babies could be either congenital, which means that happens from birth, or it's acquired, which means that it happens due to some external cause. Whenever a child is born with facial paralysis, then it is considered to be a rare condition, also called as Moebius syndrome. Moebius syndrome is a rare disorder. And mostly in this problem, the facial nerve is either not completely developed or else is absent, due to which the child's ability to control facial movements is affected. At the same time, his oromotor ability like speaking, chewing the food, swallowing becomes impaired. And kid complain of difficulties like drooling, speech issues and developmental delay. Along with this, in Moebius syndrome, kids develop upper body weakness, developmental disorders, dry eyes, irritability, dental issues, hand and foot problems. And that's why it becomes one of the most frustrating cause for parents. Since this problem is so rare, there are few communities that has been developed which is aiming to bring together all parents and healthcare professionals where a collaborated approach can be used and these kids can be rehabilitated. The link to one such organization I would be sharing in the description below, which would be helpful if your child is suffering from this disorder. Now let's move on to the acquired form, which means as in adults, Bell's palsy happens due to infection or else inflammation in your facial nerve. Similarly, or the same thing happens in babies or else kids as well. Kids usually land up with some sort of bacterial infection, fungal infection or as viral infection, due to which they develop facial paralysis. The good news about this, since kids develop very fast, their growth is good, their recovery rate is also good. So, if medications are taken on time and good precautions are taken, kids mostly recover completely. But Unfortunately, 10% of kids are usually left with some residuals like synchinesis. Mostly this happens if the damage to the nerve is more, if the pressure on the nerve due to the inflammation lasts for more than 72 hours, which usually happens if the child does not get medications on time or else if the child has got facial paralysis due to some other condition like tumor, facial nerve injury following fall, or it's trauma, or it's following some sort of brain-related surgery. In those situations, the recovery can be delayed and due to which the child can develop secondary complication like synchinesis. But as I mentioned, the child's growth is good. They are not much conscious about their face. Hence, their recovery rate is good. Coming to the management side. The management of Bell's palsy in the kids also remains the same. Kids need to be given their medication within 72 hours, which comprises of steroid medicines, antiviral drugs, and calcium channel blockers. Apart from that, when it comes to physiotherapy management, there are few limitations here since child cannot cooperate and cannot understand the instructions given. Hence, regular hot fermentation and massage is the key for the child to get better recovery. If your child is suffering from Bell's palsy, make sure do not give electrical stimulation for a long period of time as it could lead to synchinesis. Along with that, don't force your child to do extreme contraction of the face like laughing, smiling, raising eyebrows, etc. 
try to keep your child as calm as possible because if your child cries a lot he will do mass movements and that mass movements will in future lead to synkinesis hence try to keep your child as calm as possible with these certain points you can make sure that your child is gradually recovering once your child is older than 5 years of age or 6 years of age where he can follow the commands that would be the good time where his rehabilitation can be started further if he has developed synkinesis so friends this was a small video giving you information about bell's palsy or his facial paralysis in kids i hope you found this video helpful if yes make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to health q channel i'll see you in another video thank you